It is insane. Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. These are the most delicious beer ribs you ever had. Why would you cook ribs in beer? Well, I like ribs, I like beer, and if we put one and one together, it's not gonna be two, it's gonna be a hundred. It's gonna be thousand. The first thing that I wanna do is fire up my Kamada Joe Big Joe. I'm gonna use this as my cooking device. And I clearly state cooking device. It's not gonna be just a smoker, just a grill. I'm gonna be cooking everything on this thing, except for the fries. First step is to take the grill grates out, remove the heat deflectors, put in some Kamada Joe Big Block, put in a couple of fire starters, Light them up and wait until the charcoal is lit. And these are my ribs. St. Louis style cut ribs. A beautiful squared piece of pork. Nice dark red meat. Plenty of fat to make this piece of meat juicy and tender. And on the back we see some ribs and we see some membrane and a beautiful slab of meat. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take off this silver skin with a little piece of paper and I'm just gonna tear it off. Then I'm gonna take off the floppy bits and square it up to make it look really good. And then I'm gonna be boiling these in beer. And therefore I need a pan. These ribs are gonna go in the pan and then I'm gonna add beer. I'm gonna put this empty brew beer with the ribs in the pan, pour all of that beer over it until it's almost covered up. Of course it needs some seasoning, a little bit of salt, some fresh ground black pepper. To finish it off, a couple of bay leaves. I'm gonna put the lid on and set it on the Kamada Joe. I completely opened up the bottom vent and the top vent and now I want the heat to come up. I want that beer to come to a boil and slowly simmer my ribs until they're almost cooked through. So I'm gonna close the lid and let it simmer for a couple of hours. The ribs have been cooking for two and a half hours. Let's take a closer look. The beer significantly reduced. And look at those ribs sticking out from the meat, which is a good sign we're close to these ribs being done. I'm gonna stick the thermometer in the thickest part of the meat the coldest part of the meat is around 92 degrees Celsius. Time to take the ribs out. That is one freaky juicing rack of ribs. Onto the cutting board. Of course, this isn't the end result. We're gonna make these ribs even better, but we gotta focus on the sauce first. I have about half the amount left of my beer. There are beautiful juices from the meat in it. We got a little bit of flavor from the herbs sitting in the beer, and this is going to be freaking amazing, but it's not done yet. I'm gonna cut off a slice of white bread, put some good quality mustard on, and spread it nice and thick. And that's going in the pan. The bread's gonna soak up all that beer, it's gonna fall apart, and it's gonna become one with the sauce, the mustard, the bread. It doesn't get more authentic Belgian than this. Belgian? Yes, it's Belgian. This is gonna take around 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm gonna slide it to the side of the grill. And now I got free real estate to grill my ribs on. It's free real estate. Ooh, that bit, that right there, ooh. Oh, but they can be so much more. So I'm gonna season them with a little bit of salt to make them pop. Grind on some black pepper. And then grill them on a Kamado Joe Big Joe. Fries are done. And these are homemade fries. First I rinsed off my potatoes, cut them into fries, put them in water for around half an hour and let the starch come out. Then I let them air dry and after around an hour, I gave them their first fry at a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius. Then I let them cool down again for around an hour. And now I finished them off with their final fry at 180 degrees Celsius until they were golden brown and crispy. And you know you did a good job when your fries sound like this. Of course, now it's time to put the ribs on. Whoa. And of course, I'm gonna finish it off with our beautiful beer sauce. And that's 
how you make the most tasty beer ribs you've ever had. Look at that. <laughs> the juices are just, it is insane. I can't stop talking about these. I can't stop thinking about these until I try to. See you guys next time. Cheers. Mm.